with it. Let's have a chat to Canadian himself. Troy, Canadian, welcome. Congratulations on an amazing career. Uh, and before we get you to talk, uh, I'm going to get Jess to talk through some of the moments uh, that you've had uh, and some of the contributions you've had to Rainbow Six as a whole. The reason I want to read this out, Troy, is simply because there's a lot of viewers out there that have been watching you from the very beginning. Cast your mind all the way back to when you started with Mythic Esports. I'm talking 2016, year one, season one, you were smack bang in the midst of Pro League from the very, very beginning. You went on to Team Orbit, you did massive things, think about Continuum, on to Evil Geniuses, and then of course where you peaked at SSG. If someone goes to your Liquipedia, they would have to scroll through 50 rows worth of tournaments that you have participated in throughout your siege career that is incredible and for all the viewers out there that don't really understand the impact i want to know from you troy i'm not sure if anyone's ever asked you this but where along that entire huge decorated timeline did you realize you would become a legend to touch the rainbow six game huh. um i i don't really know if there was like a moment i recognize her or something i still don't feel like like uh, i'm told i am but i don't feel like i'm like a fucking <laughs> legend or anything crazy um i don't know like I, i'm just still some normal guy just playing video games um and i mean that's part of the the decision of why i wanted to step away i was i was struggling a lot with my mental health and motivation and i didn't i didn't mm -hmm. feel comfortable continuing to play because i didn't feel like i could consistently contribute what i should to the team um and, and that was a big reason why I wanted to step away. Um, so, I mean, I still don't feel all that crazy. Obviously, I'm very proud of what I've accomplished in the game. And I, I do think I am still capable and um, have been capable of, of, of great things in this game. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it, it's hard to see yourself like that, I feel like. Well, I definitely think you have a lot to be proud of. And as you look back at your career, uh, which is iconic in Rainbow Six history, I want you to tell us some of your, your greatest moments uh, that you can think of. And I want you to explain how it felt uh, in the highlights of your career. Oh, God. <laughs> there's a, uh, I mean, there's a lot. Uh, Take all the time you need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know where to start. I mean, I, I think the very start, like, it's probably just when the game came out and like I, I'd be five stacking ranked every day like I actually at first I was just solo queuing ranked every day and just adding people that I thought were good and that's how I actually met MVK um, and, we, and we ended up making a team together and all that but uh, I mean I, I think obviously my greatest memories are probably just between both winning with SSG but also just so many times with EG um, mm -hmm. uh, those guys on EG they're they're like brothers to me um, we went through so much together, like winning, losing, all of it. We had the highest highs and the lowest lows for sure. So uh, those guys for sure, um, and just and just all we had been through. And then um, when, when I left and, and joined SSG, um, what we accomplished together in such a short time as well. Um, this event, I guess, not not as much uh, was was not the greatest result for us. But I mean, we we came in, we had fun, we did what we could. Uh, we unfortunately didn't have the most time leading up to this event to prepare and kind of get back into the full swing of things. I think w once we got to this event, we quickly realized we had a lot to learn and catch up on. Um, and I think even in our last match, I think we kind of proved that we, we, were, we were learning, we were picking up. I think we looked a lot better than we did in our some of our earlier matches and group stages, but uh, just too little, too late sort of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, just there's so many good memories playing this game. Uh, uh, I, I don't really, I can't even put them into words, so. This game um, has uh, done a lot for many, 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 many people. And I believe you are uh, you have another question there. Do you want to cap it off there, James, for us? I just wanted to say, Troy, look, um, not only have you had uh, an amazing career and an amazing experience for yourself, but you've ha created amazing experiences for other people. I remember I was a big Continuum fan back uh, when you guys won Season 3 and when you guys won the first Six Invitational. Um, so I know that you've brought happiness to a lot of people and pride to a lot of people as well. Um, so I just want to give you the floor to thank uh, anyone out there or to say anything uh, to the hundreds of thousands of people that have followed you throughout your esteemed career. Oh God! I mean, uh, I'll thank you to my family who's who's supported me um, so much and and kind of 
I don't know, just supported me throughout my whole career, basically. Uh, even even when there was basically nothing really at stake yet, like I was just I was I was dumping hours into this game before there was anything in this game. Um, so big shout out to my family for supporting me through that. Um, obviously, all the teammates I've I've played with through this game. Um, I, I've I've made a handful of very very close friends because of it, and. Uh, I, I'm really glad to have experienced it. Just other friends I've met through competitions, hanging out, uh, playing against them, whether it's talent or other players, other coaches, all that. Um, and especially the fans. Uh, I, I've had so many fans that have supported me through Thick and Thin. I've been at some extremely low points and uh, people just being right there with me, telling me to get back on the horse. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's heartwarming and it's, it always has been. There's definitely been some some downsides to being on social media and whatnot when 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 the going gets tough but there's also the upsides of of those fans that really do truly support you and uh they've always meant the world to me and uh put a smile on my face so thank you to the to them uh, i'm sure the people that like that know who you are i mean uh i i, I see i see all, just about everything on social media so uh yeah the, the the ones that are that are saying the nice things uh just know it, it does not go unappreciated well, thank you, Troy. Your contribution to Rainbow Six will go down in history. We'll see you later next time. All right. Thank you very much. Wow. 